Well, hey there, it's Catherine from CatherinePuller.com. Today I'm going to make a card using some new release products. This is the Grateful Heart stamp set. This was illustrated by Lydia Evans, and this sentiment right here was hand lettered by Ilana Griffo. Some of you may know her work through the um, some of the Happy Planners. So we love having illustrations and and hand lettering from her. And Lydia's flowers here are just stunning. They are really great for you colorists out there, whether you're watercoloring or using Copic markers and just a note our midnight ink pad is archival it is waterproof and it's safe for Copics one thing to note though make sure you're using the right cardstock our cardstock works really great and also make sure you let it dry for a little bit uh, if you get any bleeding it may be because it's either your cardstock potentially or you just didn't let it dry long enough uh, but a lot of people are finding great success with our Midnight Ink and Copic coloring. So we don't have a lot of line art images in our line yet. So we are excited to introduce this. And with Mother's Day coming up, it's going to be just around the corner. This is going to be a great set to use for those. And today I'm going to use it without coloring because I'm not the greatest colorer <laughs> in the world. But um, I do like to try my hand at it. And you will see me probably um, playing around with that and some coloring. But not on today's card. And then I knew you guys were going to ask, so we have dies also to coordinate with this stamp set. I'm not going to use those either, but <laughs> I'm going to use our new Sand Dunes cardstock. It's a really fabulous kind of natural, uh, light, light brown cardstock. I love it. And also our new vellum cardstock. I just die cut using one of our circle dies. And I'm going to use that on the card front. And then also our new awesome die. Lots of you have been asking for more of Shauna Klingerman's hand lettering. So here we go. we got some more dies coming out for that. So I'm going to start out by stamping this large flower using Midnight. And I'm going to stamp it right on the Sand Dunes cardstock. Another thing to note with our Midnight is that it does stain. So I got a little extra um, ink right there. You want to be careful not to press down too hard on your ink pad because they are squishy and it does sink down and our archival is permanent so it'll stain so just be careful when you're inking all right so i'm going to come in and i'm going to fill in with a few more of these smaller stamps just creating a nice background We'll continue filling in until we have the whole cardstock covered. So once I finished this one, I decided that I wasn't crazy about these kind of floating out there like that. So I stamped it again using only this large stamp. I think I may uh, fill in just a little bit with a few of these and then just leave it at that. And I don't think I have actually room for any more, so we'll go with two. I'm gonna use some liquid glue and I'm gonna start assembling the card. You can see I uh, was working on one side, just kind of playing around to get the placement and then I wasn't liking that either, so I turned it over. So don't be afraid once you get started if you're not liking placement. Don't be afraid to turn your cardstock over and start again. So I'm using some 3M mounting tape. I'm just gonna cut it in half to be a little frugal. This will help my cardstock have a little bit of dimension because this layer will pop up from the card base. We'll add this to the card front. We're using a sand dunes card base. And then we have our vellum layer and the awesome sentiment die. I'm gonna finish off my awesome sentiment with the U and the R from our Autumn Blessing stamp set. I just have them on my craft mat right now. I'm gonna pick them up with my grid block and I can use the grid on here to make sure it's lined up straight. Okay, so I have that straight and then I'm gonna ink it up with my Midnight Ink Pad. You are awesome. <laughs> 
And now before I adhere this, I'm gonna grab a few scent, a uh, few sequins. Now when you're using vellum cardstock, you wanna be careful because you can see the glue through the vellum. So you wanna strategically place your embellishments and then you can put the adhesive under the embellishments. So we're gonna use some gold sequins. This is from the Gilded Peach set of sequins. I love these matte gold sequins, they're fabulous. And then I'll be able to add my adhesive on the back, right where those sequins are and right where our word dye is, and you won't be able to see the glue through the other side. And because this is cardstock, it's not going to curl up like some vellum papers would. So there, that is my card today. I hope you guys are inspired, and we'll see you soon.